Hello OCR AS economists, you're ready to sit your exam, you know there's going to be this big 10 mark question at the end of section B and you want to make sure you can answer it well. well this is what this video is for. You're going to have this 10 marker, the last question in section B will be this 10 mark evaluate question, evaluate question and that means you need to write a two-sided answer, two-sided argument but you don't require a judgment. OCR examiners say it's only 10 marks, you don't need the judgment, you just need two-sided argument. As soon as you write your on the other hand points, that counts as evaluation in the mind of the OCR examiner. So let's get started with your structure here in green. It's an essay, so you've got to start by defining key terms. The key terms in the question is what you need to define. Then no messing around, go straight into your on the one hand, your argument to answer the question on the one hand. You're looking to make two of these points, but those two points need to be analysed or explained in serious detail. Assume the examiner is a non-economist, therefore that's going to force you to write everything in minute detail, not to take any liberties with your writing. Everything explained. That kind of depth is important. With application running through it, and that application you can get from the case study, absolutely. A lot is there in that case study to help you, so apply throughout. You might want to draw a diagram to help you on the one hand, to back up some of the points, of course. And if you draw a diagram, make sure it's fully labelled, make sure it's accurate and there is nothing missing from it. But crucially, you must refer to it, i.e. you must talk about it in your writing, otherwise the diagram is redundant, it's not going to score anything. All right. So you make two of those points, that's my recommendation here, just to bolster your argument on the one hand. Then you go straight into on the other hand. Now your on the other hand points could be limitations of the theory you set on the one hand or what your theory on the one hand depends on. Both count as evaluation in the mind of the OCR examiner and if you do it well, i.e. the two points you make again, you're going to write two points, whether it's one limitation one depends on, two limitations or two depends on, it doesn't matter. As soon as you make those two points, you've got to make sure that your analysis is deep. Everything explained like you did on the one hand, fully. You've got to make sure that application is there throughout the points that you're making. Again, you can derive that from the case study. Because you need strong evaluation. If you're lacking depth, it's not going to be strong, along with strong analysis. So you need depth on both sides with application throughout if you're going to hit the top, top marks. Once you've done your two points in detail, you can finish. That's done and you can crack on with your big 20 marker. Hopefully that helps. Remember, you're looking to leave yourself at least 20 minutes for this a 10 marker, bearing in mind you need at least 35 minutes for the 20 marker. So two points on each side, you're absolutely fine, rocking, chances are you'll score 10 marks. Thanks so much for watching guys, good luck with this question, I'll see you in the next video.